is guided, <laughs> nudge strongly, to lead you through a quantum leap so that you know, how does she do these things? How, what does it mean? And uh, how does it involve angels and guides and loved ones who fast, uh, the quantum, all of this energy movement, etc. So I wanted to lead you through one, just to give you a sense of how you can do these anytime, anywhere. Um, whenever you are getting that strong, like something's gotta change here, I need to quantum leap. And uh, here's the thing. <laughs> so it's brought, brought to my attention that there can be some times when it's maybe not the greatest time to do driving, <laughs> maybe at your work, because you might become so involved in your quantum leap that things kind of fall away from you. And you literally will feel like, I just went to a different paradigm. I was no longer in my car. I was no longer at my job. You know, I was talking on the phone with somebody and I zooped out and somebody was like, are you still there? So the quantum leaping, I suggest to do it like in a meditation or before, like right after you wake up, right when you're going to bed, at times when you, you have that even five to 10 minutes a day, it doesn't take long. You could do it for two minutes. Uh, but I'm gonna lead you through one so that you can get a sense of how these work, right? Or how they might work for you. So what I do with my angel client friends is I have them begin with considering their current reality and picking out aspects that are troubling, uh, maybe with some concern or some agitation, anger, rage, sadness, grief, um, anything that has been calling to them as this is not at peace with me, I am not at peace with it, this is not part of my joy, and um, I would like to do something about it. So I have them pick out those current reality aspects, right? So from that, what I do is say, okay, we're gonna jump, we're gonna leap into this desired reality out here in the quantum. Now the quantum is here as well, but for the sake of our human minds, a lot of times it's easier to consider that it's away from us somewhere, or a leap that uh, we need to allow ourselves to make uh, and that this can feel like it's not tangible enough here. Whereas when you jump in with the idea of I'm going with my essential self, and I'm jumping into the quantum and I'm gonna handle all these things or receive these answers from my angels, my spirit guides, the loved ones who've passed, I'm gonna talk to um, other essential selves here in form because we can do that too. So what I start with is I say, okay, I'm gonna have you take a deep breath. Now this is a form of Kung Fu meditation, which you can check out my videos on YouTube or uh, look up my blog, joyflames.com, for more of a description of Kung Fu meditation, what it involves, and how much the breath is involved in directing the energy to where we want it to go. So whether it's for healing, for love, for career, for business, for uh, somebody else, for anything that's in our lives in this current reality, that again, it has that little friction point or some kind of unsettling thing about it or unease, dis-ease, etc. I say dis-ease because that's what all illness is. It's just a dis-ease in the body. We call it disease, but it's disease. So going from this, have everyone take a big, huge, deep breath, and then you hold it as long as you can while considering that you are leaping into the quantum, dropping off and dumping off all of these undesired aspects that are floating around you in your current reality. Could be miscommunications or misperceptions or judgments or self stuff. Cause that's really what that all points down to, right? At the end of the day, self-loathing, self-judgment, self, etc. Self, self, et uh, and then jumping into this quantum field, you're now in this essential, this essential space of yourself, this essential self in the quantum, asking your essential self for these answers to these challenges that are in the current reality. So you're asking your essential self or the loved ones that you have in spirit. Um, your angels, your guides, for those specific answers. Here's what's fun about the central self. There is no lack, no resistance, no limitation of the central self. So some of these answers that you're gonna get in the quantum, you're gonna go, wow, I never even considered that, I never even thought of that. Like, I didn't even know I could do that or be that. That happens all the time with these quantum leaps because your answers are coming unfiltered. The solutions are coming without any kind of layers of not possible, it never happened. That person's not like that. I'm not like that. All that flyby chatter, right? <laughs> so while you're in the quantum, ask your questions. Ask. Um, I would really like to know an answer for my partner. What's going on? I feel like I need to uh, understand something there and I'm not getting it. Meet up with the essential self of that partner. Ask the question. What's going on for you? How can I understand better what this is? What was this argument we had really about? Where does it go back to? Wait a minute, I just saw 
his mom treated him like this when he was a kid. And so now it's filtering down. Oh, wow, it's coming into her relationship. What happens with the quantums for so many people? This unbelievable, peaceful understanding and an absorption and integration of the possible of what actually can be changed and transformed. And sometimes people are so aghast at, oh my God, this is so easy. It's so much easier than uh, taking yourself to something where you have to keep doing the lesson over and over again, or talking to the same people all the time about the same stuff for 10 years, instead of just dumping it off, letting it go, and getting back to this essential self state and frequency. So as you're receiving your answers now, all these answers, healing your body, healing your mind, helping yourself uh, understand where does anxiety come from? Where did it really come from? Because it wasn't yours originally. None of that stuff was. So you can dump it off, let it go, ask, because it can be so helpful to know, wow, I didn't even know that my grandmother had depression all of her life. And no wonder I was trying to help her as a kid to lift that. And then I walked with it, etc., etc. You'll find all kinds of information out here in the quantum flow team that you get to receive because obviously your angels and guides and those in spirit want to help you heal, want to help you feel joy, want to help you feel peace. Know that those are your birthrights. Those are not some outside thing of you. They're completely you. So reintegrating, reuniting with those aspects of yourself here with your central self out in the quantum, then you're probably going to get a little nod of, okay, this is complete. This is done. And you'll be like, oh, it is? Okay. At that point, you want to make sure that you receive, you have all this information, this new answers, these new solutions, these new states and frequencies, because maybe you don't even hear words. You don't hear anything. You just have a feeling or a sense about it. Jump that back here to your current reality. That's essential. You want to make sure that you're setting that intention and bringing all that back to this current reality. Whoa, there's lots of emotion coming up for people. I can see. I can feel. Ooh. And remembering that you get to dump all that stuff out here. And for those of you who say, what happens with all that garbage that everybody's dumping off, right? Well, it's not like the earth plane of dumping garbage off in the skies or in the oceans at all. When we release and let go of uh, these estates that are not conductive to our power, our co-creative power, uh, to our ability to serve on the planet, etc. When you release them to the quantum, it's being transformed back into light because that is from where it came. So anything that you're dropping off and dumping that is disempowering you is a great thing because it just is going to amp up the planet. As some wise soul just said today, you know how you change the world? You change yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the number one way. So again, do not get concerned because that's an old dogma. That's an old thing that um, uh, hear yes if you vent on somebody without a, a, a set intention of I'm actually sharing this to receive some answers or to get some, you know, understand, have some wisdom shoot in through this other vehicle, through this other soul that has something that could offer me and I'm just going to dump it on them and keep dumping the same stuff on them all the time. That's very different then when you decide to let something go to the quantum, let it get transformed back into light, amps up the frequency of the planet. It's a win, win, win all the way around. So let me know if you have any questions about your quantum leaps and please share this video if you so feel compelled. This is Jeannie Marie Blaha to Colorado. Take a walk with your angels and joy from the sun. Hello everybody, see you soon.